Hey guys, Nick here on Set of the And. If you love the conversations and want to start having them in your own life, we have different card game decks for every relationship in your life so you can start exploring the people around you. Check them out at theskindeep.com slash shop and enjoy. What are your three favorite memories we share? When we first got married in Mount McGregor Correction Facility, and we were in the chapel. And when you started singing, all of the guys that were in the chapel, well, let me reverse. When they knew they were getting ready to witness a wedding, even though they all had on greens, they tucked their shirts in and buttoned up their collars. And then when you started to sing, they all joined in. I thought that that was one of the first memories. I think the second one was um, when we flew to Hawaii and that was your first time flying and every five minutes you was asking, what's that, what's that? And then they gave you your little wings like they gave the kids. And then when we went to eat in the crater of an active volcano for lunch and they were showing um, through the picture windows where you could see the sulfur actually coming up from the volcano and you didn't realize that I was bringing you to an active volcano to have lunch and I think that's when you really knew that your wife was crazy. <laughs> How do you describe me to others? Oh, that's easy. Well, you know, you already know I'm your biggest fan. So, uh, you know, that comes real easy to me to express to other people the accolades that you have, uh, you know, that you have succeeded in your life, you know, and how proud I am of the things that you've done, you know. Uh, you know, you just uh, you know, you're just one of them people that expires, you know. And uh, I think everybody that knows you, that uh, realizes that, you know, you are always trying to empower other people. And I think that that's one of your best attributes, you know. And uh, you know, I just I just love you to death for that. You know? When are you proudest of me? I think I'm most proud of you when you um, take out time to engage your, your kids, you know. Um, I think, you know, there's a lot of things that make me proud. I think, you know, you being home for 26 years and being at the same job and being an asset to the job and you know, not even thinking about going back inside anybody's jail or any kind of, you know, institution um, makes me proud because if, you know, considering the kind of work that I do, knowing what the recidivism rates look like, you, you know, and here is a person who has <clears throat> done, you know, more than one bit away and came home and change was was the inevitable and I think that um, I'm most proud that you know you said you weren't going back and you were determined that by hook or by crook that was not going to be um, on your agenda for, for the remaining part of your life and I think that um, that's something that you should be proud of too understanding you know how the cards are stacked mm -hmm. in general. Well I am proud of that. Uh -huh. You know, but you had a lot to do with that also, you know. Uh, you just gave me a different uh, mindset. And as far as the kids are concerned, you know, you always speak about how we have to build our own relationships with the kids. From day one, I've loved as my own. And, uh, you know, as you know, I nicknamed her baby girl. because uh, I had already accepted her uh, 
as a part of me. And all I wanted to do from that point on was build on it. Uh, to be the best I could be for her, to be there for her when she needed me, you know, and uh, a lot of those things I missed because of my incarceration periods. And I didn't have the opportunity to, uh, to raise my kids, so to speak. Uh, you know, when I went away, my kids were kids. When I came home, they were adults. And that's one of the things that I miss most, you know, not being there for them. But uh, I still got time. Why do you love me? Let me count the ways. <laughs> I love you for you. You know, I've always loved you for you. Um, everything about you is a special quality as far as I'm concerned. And uh, as baby girls say, I love you to the moon and back. You would think after 28 years we wouldn't cry so much. Yeah, right. <laughs> Only fortunate to be on camera this time. <laughs> hey, Topaz here. Thanks for watching our video. If it touched you, if it moved you, if it made an impact, please consider supporting us on Patreon so that we continue making more. It means the world to us, and we appreciate it. Thank you.